can you share some key pr principles, I guess, for a manager um, that sh you know, should keep in mind when it comes to strategic planning? Yeah, um, sure. I, look, I, I can only talk about the, the things that I that I think about in our sort of plan, do and, and review cycles or, or that, that I've you know really tried. I think the first thing, and this is this has become very apparent to me, um, you know, a very you know my best friend probably in the in the industry taught me or put words to this recently. It's it's trying to understand the key um, hypothesis of the problem before you actually go and solve the problem. And I think I've always had that mindset of actually not just rolling through doing the things that we do or trying to answer the easy question that you think might be there from the get-go if you're trying to solve a problem like um the athlete needs to be need whatever that measure is in terms of height speed whatever what what is the gap that we're trying to solve for those listening in that struggle to uh, tap into their creative side do you have some tips to sort of Ooh. i guess fire that or lighten that flame what are the things that limit creativity like we all probably have a bit of it in it in us and i think the things that limit creativity are um a, an environment where there's a sense of a preconceived way that there is um an o you know there's the utility there's importance around having things done a certain way and done re relatively consistently but if if people feel like that is a closed door and there's no way to challenge with new ways of thinking and new opportunities, then then they're instantly going to shut off their creative um, path. Do you think it uh, the environment that you're hosting that review, you know, like uh, around having it, let's say, on a campfire and just going outdoors compared to, I guess, in an office can help yeah. stimulate a bit more creativity and um, different lateral thinking? If that's the perp, if that's one <laughs> of the key areas that the group needs, yeah. Or a colleague of mine at work at the moment and I are talking about having um, planning sessions out in the bush because thinking, I think a change of scene absolutely helps um, people um, open their mind to th things. I, I also think um, the, the opposite of that is true. Just doing it at work does, I would say, does limit some people's ability to tap into their side and they're open to new ideas side of their personality that they might you know that they're more than capable of but they've but when they're in a familiar environment they operate in that familiar way when going into a new organization um what's the with the with all the same age level of, of squad of athletes uh, what's some of your favorite strategies to sort of work out when you're managing a group on what level or what stage the athletes are specifically at with their Ooh. development <laughs> That's a good question, actually. Um, so, I think I think the when you go in, into there's there's probably two there's two things that come to mind at odds with one another. One is I think going into any new scenario, trying to listen first is and 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 try and understand the exactly back to my earlier point, trying to understand the problem first is is the biggest thing. It's very powerful. And there's actually power in your opinion, um, particularly when you get in there. Now, it's easier if you go in with some credibility and you're, if you're withholding your opinion and you have credibility, it builds a little bit of anxiety and, and or not anxiety, anxiety is the wrong word, but it builds some um, almost expectation and hope around when, when your opinion comes and you get, I think, there's some there's power in resisting the temptation to provide your opinion too early. And what would be your key advice for communicating effectively to large groups working for she's working for a state sporting body part uh, and her role is to communicate changes in policy results etc. To a membership. <laughs> Question is if 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 I had a magic um, answer for that, um, I'd probably be earning a lot of money solving everyone's problems. Um, <laughs> So one one thing I think um, again it's two it's two things that I always find another. Sometimes when there's complicated things to explain, um, people just want to read um, the, the um, executive version of it. And I think often without understanding the the detail, you can't understand the executive version. So I think 
it's important not to miss the critical details when you're explaining something to to a group if you're trying to if you're trying to explain how it is going to happen and and often people will talk about you know why are we doing this making sure that the reason and the benefit what's in my interest and what's in your interest in us doing this is really important and then the, the other thing so i would say take time to explain enough details to make sure it's really clear why it's in their interest 